Well, you know, I've been having a nice Sunday afternoon watching videos and having a few drums. And I started out with uh, Alberta Premium 40% alcohol by volume, but still one of my favorite starter whiskeys. And after that, I had another because there was one dram left in the bottle. So I finished the bottle up. Then I had a Wild Turkey 101 because I was watching a video by the Mash and Drum, uh, Jason C., who was um, uh, saying, or he was in a tag thing where they, uh, all you need is five whiskeys. So he, he chose his five whiskeys for five different occasions. And I was watching that and he pulled out a Wild Turkey 101 as his daily sipper. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. So I had a Wild Turkey 101. And that is uh, aged in, uh, being a bourbon, it's aged in uh, first uh, or virgin oak uh, casks or virgin oak barrels. So, then I thought, hmm, you know, last night when I was recording, I got through three videos and fell asleep while editing the last one. And so I didn't finish my weekly production of videos. And I was going to do one of these anyway. So here it is. This is the Virgin Oak cask number SF49. Sampled on August 15th, 2020. At the Shelter Point Distillery. <laughs> Yeah, straight from the barrel, this. I've been looking forward to this one. I'm going to pour me a quick size dram. And this is straight from the cask, so it is cask strength. There's a little bit left. I'm going to have to probably add a fair amount of water to make this palatable. But um, virgin oak. Now I don't know how old it is, but I'm beginning to get some very nice things on the nose. Cask number SF forty nine. Like I said, I don't know how old this is, but it is youthful to begin with. There's that sweet malty sweet malty shelter point spirit. I'm going to have to see what it does in the way of the legs department. Is this chicken legs or is this the Rockettes? Let's see now. Oh, look at that sheeting action. This is going to be high ABV. High. But I'm still getting some Some of that youthful, youthful shelter point character. I'm getting some fruits as well. It's like a Del Monte fruit cup. It's got those little pineapples and little peaches and little cherries, those red maraschino type cherries. And they, they rock. Yeah, little bits of pears also. Del Monte Fruit Cup. 
with malt. That's what I'm getting right now. With the virgin oak, you would expect some more caramel and some more vanilla. But I suppose those will rear their ugly heads after I've added some water to this dram. No, come to think of it, with all that fruit cupness, I am getting some vanilla and some caramel from the virgin oak. It just takes a while to come out. I could nose this for a while for this young whiskey, if it is old enough to be called whiskey. is giving me quite a few different flavors. I'm getting a little bit of grassy something. Like bales of hay. But just some. After getting that, then those the fruity notes, definitely from, from the Shelter Point spirit, start asserting themselves again. And drowning out those grassy notes. But I'm still getting a lot of malt. A lot of malty. Multi, almost oval teen character. I will cleanse my palate because I was drinking Wild Turkey 101. And yes, last night when I did my groceries, I forgot to bring home some oat cakes. Maybe next week I'll get that right. This is nice. This is pleasant to to be nosing. And, and I can nose it for a long time before I start to take a sip. And don't forget, this is probably somewhere between 55 and 65% ABV. So in order to get the full benefit of the flavor, I will have to add some water. But I always like to taste things neat first. Just to be sure. Mm. Whoa. There's a lot of flavor here. There's a lot going on. My first impression is marshmallows. And I took a very small sip. And I, naturally, my mouth was watering, so I added quite a bit of saliva to it. And um, strong. It's strong. I got a lot of those fruity notes that I was getting already from the... Um, uh, shelter point spirit and then a little bit of wood it's still um, <clears throat> excuse me it's not not coating my mouth with much and it's not very viscous it's giving me a bit of a hug I will have to do that again, and then I will have to add water and uh, see what I get. Cleanse that palate.
good water. Not as good a water as you get at Shelter Point at the distillery. They got this great big uh, natural aquifer that's fed by the winter rain on the mountains in uh, central Vancouver Island. And this aquifer is, all the water from the aquifer is very well filtered and very fresh and very clean, very delicious. This isn't quite as good, but it's good water. Once again, getting that Del Monte fruit cup thing going on. If I dig deep, I get vanilla. Not so much caramel, but that may manifest itself when I add some water. Here comes that second small sip. Oh. There are those fruits again. There's a little bit of an alcohol tingling on the sides of my tongue. There's fruity notes and some, some vanilla. Not getting a lot of caramel here. But who knows? Maybe if this spends more time in the wood, the wood will give it more more character. This is, after all, a young whiskey. Um, the oldest whiskey that you will find at Shelter Point at this time is about nine years old. The oldest barrels are from 2011. This is maybe four or five years old. I don't know for sure. I add some water to see what that will do to it. Give it a shake. Give it the anaconda. No, the Anaconda is not a paint mixer. It's a little bit more gentle than that. To move the glass around the liquid and get the liquid to coat the glass. Oh, sheeting action once again. That means it's probably still quite high in the ABV department. Ah. Now I'm getting some new things. My first impression was melons, like watermelons, like zoom watermelons. Ah. Maltiness. Caramel. Yes. Adding some water to this really has improved the nose. It's quite malty now, being from what I understand a single malt, but uh, aged in virgin oak. For how long, I don't know. I'm guessing that this was the new make just dumped right into the virgin oak barrels and left to their own devices. For how much time, I don't know. I just know it's virgin oak. I'm getting a chocolate note. 
and that chocolate note very much resembles the uh, Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll chocolate. Mm. So malty and chocolatey. That Del Monte fruit cup is just about gone. I don't know where it went to, but this, this is nice right now. That Tootsie Roll chocolate is really, really dominating the whole thing right now. Dominating the entire experience. And with a bit of caramel. Some vanilla, yes. It's all here. Taste again. Now I get the wood. I get a little bit of that maraschino cherry note from the from the Del Monte fruit cup. I'm also getting some wood planings, door planings, door planings like when the wood would expand in the summer and in the humidity. My dad would take a plane and he'd put the plane down the door and it would go. There would be this curling, thin, ribbon of wood coming off the plane. And it smelled just like this. Yes, door planings. Typical of virgin oak, you can almost expect that, but I was not getting it earlier on before I had added water because the high alcohol content was acting as an anesthetic and not allowing me to taste everything that was there to be tasted. Now the addition of water has added a couple of dimensions to this one. Try that again. It's still quite strong, and I'm getting more door planings now. Door planings and fruitiness. Tootsie Roll chocolate. And there's that maltiness as well hanging in there. The finish is about medium. It doesn't hang on that long, but I still have this nose. To remind me how good this is and how delicious this is. In this case the virgin oak has added a lot to the um, shelter point spirit. It's a welcome addition, believe me. It is delicious. It is fabulous. I wonder what they're going to do with this. I wonder what the shelter point people are going to do with this because so far it is delicious. It's still young. 
there's still a bit of a metallic note to it. But that's okay. With time, the metallic note will kind of dissipate. It will remove itself from the whiskey with more age. thing about virgin oak is you don't want to overdo it. If you overdo it, all you get is wood on the palate. And this is not overdone. This has a lot of things going on in the glass right now. Should I venture adding more water? I don't know. I think it's a beautiful dram as it is. Mm. Yes, this is a very good one. Thank you, Leon, for giving me this sample. This is, uh, this is very nice. You know, you're converting me into being a fanboy of Shelter Point. It's happening. Because every time I taste a Shelter Point, it seems to be better than the last. Even though I didn't get them in chronological order at which they were produced. Uh, did I mention that I'm going to, uh, I'm thinking of at least, making a Shelter Point Infinity bottle? And it's going to consist of all the Shelter Points that I have in my possession at the moment. I just need to get one bottle to get low enough so that there's only one dram left. And when I pour that last dram from that bottle, it's going back in the bottle and there's going to be a dram from every other bottle of Shelter Point that I have going into that Infinity bottle. And I will include these samples. The wine sample, uh, whatever number it was, this one is the wheat whiskey. I'm going to include that. The virgin oak that I'm having right now. The SF42 Freud Exla Freud cask. And the 1156 Quig cask. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to be in there. And that is, I'm just going to have the shelter point. It's going to have the Shelter Point logo on the bottle. And below that, there, where there's like the picture of the farm and the, and the fields and all that, I'll just have a great big infinity drawn over that. And that great big infinity will signify that it's my infinity bottle of Shelter Point. I still get that maraschino cherry. This is delicious. And this is drawn straight from the cask. This is not mixed with anything. This is not engineered or blended or anything. This is direct. Beautiful. Cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>